everybody, it's Old School Nerd. It's Thursday, and Thursday is the day that I'm on Twitch playing D&D with my friends. And nothing inspires our group more than the amazing performers on Deerstalker Pictures. Now, now that I've said that, let me say this. Let me ask you this question. Who are the two most, most insufferable people that portray characters on Deerstalker Pictures? It's a loaded question because technically, I believe they might be on the screen right now. Now, let me also say this. When I say insufferable people, I'm not talking about Forgeling, okay? That is his social media handle of the actor, the cosplay creator, and the equipment builder, the craftsman that plays the character of Antrius. However, his character is completely insufferable. Why? <laughs> Bard reasons. Hello. Um, yeah, it's, it's true. It's true. I don't even know what college he's from. Pretty much sure he dropped out. That's a Bard joke. Shut up. The other insufferable character that we've met, I know you people are thinking Dargo Bark. You shut up. He's a, he's a delight. A delight, I say. But one of the other insufferable characters is kind of a new character we've just encountered. And mainly because he's a ranger who apparently put all of his points in charisma. I didn't know that was a thing. All right, but he did. Okay, and they're both very insufferable. So here's the thing. Is this the video that has the most insufferable actor, character, in the entire series of One For All D&D on Deerstalker Pictures, there's only one way to find out. We have to press play. <sighs> this is three minutes and 50 seconds of your life. You're not getting back. I'm just letting you know now. Worry not, fair maiden, for our path lies just beyond this tree. And that's what you said 10 trees ago. Oh, ye of little faith. I know these woods like the back of my hand. Then... You'd know all about these guys. Ben and I may have been mistaken. I, I'm, I may have spoken too soon, which I never do. Today. Okay, the most insufferable character actor in all of Deerstalker Pictures is Kendall the Human. No one's going to deny it. You're not, shut up. You're not going to, you shut up. I'm not dealing with you today. Quiet. <laughs> Polynesians, man. All right, so here we go. Shut up. I love alien weaponry. So check this out. Um, you see those up there? Those are plushies by makeshift. We have Nixie was the first one, then Evandra, then Antrius. I have all three. And there's other ones coming out all the time. Here's the problem. The one I want more than any of them is Kindle the Human. Now, here's the problem. Which character would Kindle portray as a makeshift? The Dungeon Master? The perverted, racist, blue guy? It's a funny one. Go check that out. It's hilarious. Go watch that one. Or an insufferable elf. He's done them all. I mean, come on. I will tell you. Antrius is a talented dancer and singer. Ivandra will literally rip your head off and do a feather dance with it. Nixie will burn stuff indiscriminately. And her social media is pretty hot as well. But of all the people, <laughs> sorry, of all the people on Dear Soccer Pictures that you can honestly say can do it all, not well, but can do it all, Kendall the Human. He's also the only cast member that's metal. Did you know that? <sighs> Bet you didn't know that. You should look it up. All right, everybody. Here we go. We are now, we have now been, um, yeah, Kendall's back. And he's legless. No, no, no. Legless, not Legolas. Legolas was that guy from the, the other thing. The Bloom guy on the Pirates. Yeah, but yeah, this is Legless. 
because he doesn't show his. Why is he wearing a Peter Pan frock? Can anybody answer me that real quick before I press play? Anyone? No? Moving on. Penenifith inanarion, anin nocheniok. Oh, they're wood elves. Well, fret not, fair maiden, for I have studied the wood elf tongue extensively. As have I. <laughs> I've got this. <clears throat> Suli, Dad, Durgweg. I am Flint Limpfeather. You want feel good? Us make feel good. Laughing. <laughs> it's funny, everything he said is exactly what Antrius was thinking. Again, look it up. Amongst friends. <laughs> Where did you say you learned Elvish? I did a short course at the school. The one you dropped out of. Uh, Igor Puithokin. It's speak friend and enter. Speak, friend, Amino. My intuition's telling me that we need to say that word. Mm, nonsense. What I think he's trying to say is that to pass through his woods, he'll need a bribe. Maybe a potion from my bag. You want drink from my sack? Do you want arrow from my... Again. The ranger is saying what the bard is thinking. It's like a ventriloquist for idiots. These are jokes, people. I love all of them. I love them all equally. Except for Dargobart. He is a delight. Tell me I'm wrong. I bow. What? <laughs> oh. um, do you need help? <laughs> This is but a formal greeting amongst elves. <laughs> He's trying to compliment my prowess in battle. He thinks I'm pretty cool. <laughs> now to return the compliment. Ah, let me just one of these. Uh, and pardon to tout the efficacy of your linguistics, but seeing as I don't want to become a pincushion today, I'm going to cast. One last time. Speak, friend, and enter. Uh, friend! There we are! <laughs> <laughs> you think a mere spell is going to allow them to understand your feeble... Attempts at their language. Ah, once again, I have to step in and fix this problem. <laughs> Many thanks, my knife here. <sighs> ah, done it again, Flint. <laughs> I think that's the N word for elves. We don't say that word. I don't even like hearing the word. You don't say the N word, especially my. Mm, see, I can't even say it. I can't say the N-word. It's not cool. Ever. Can't. Oh. Do you remember when Antrius used to get the party into this kind of trouble? I am so proud of him. I'm so proud of Antrius. He's come so far. He used to be the person that would get them into these situations, and now he's the voice of reason. We really have passed the sixth the seal of the Revelation. I think next is like blood, water, toads from the sky or something. No, that's the fifth sign of the apocalypse? Okay, fair enough. Luckily for us, Nixie's already started. She's already started the book burnings last week, so yeah. Australia weird, man. I think that's why I love them so much. Yeah, that and the toilets flush backwards. I know. <laughs> I'm not with him. Was it something you said? Yes. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, ow. Oh, God. Uh, apologies. Kick his ass, sea bass. Wait, is that a thing? My feeble nine can't really comprehend the complexities of the language. But even without tongues, I know not to say what you just said. 
hey, I'm half elven on my mom's side. I get a pass, right? No! I get a pass! <laughs> wow. That was This thing. is for all those elvish viewers out there, huh? Buongiorno, Guy Fieri. He said, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, Legolas. And consider checking out our Patreon. Orlando Bloom. Kendall should be paid more. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree. Kendall should be paid more. What? And not only should Kendall be paid more, forego the pay? Plushy. Let's get a plushy going, because technically, if I could get a plushie of Kindle, I could put a piece of cardboard with a map on it, and we could have our own sessions. I know that's really not exactly healthy, that I would have just myself playing with plushies doing a session of D&D, but at the same time, my truth is my truth, accept it. All right, here we go. Kindle's back. And yeah, that, that was a thing. Okay, somebody's really got to put a bell on that ranger. A leash, muzzle, something. I mean, I say it all the time. We're probably going to die every time we play D&D. We don't, mainly because our dungeon master is not an a-hole. But this guy, they're going to wipe. Uglily. And that's not even a word. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.